in an effort to eliminate some of my extra boxes that have not been selected from the last couple of live streams, I've got a couple of half dollar boxes here to hunt. Now, of course, the sibling boxes of these two were skunk boxes. So we're not expecting anything good, but if we can get lucky and get a variety or a silver or a proof or something cool, that would be exciting. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and that's right, like I said in the intro, I've got a couple of extra boxes that have been sitting around for a few weeks, not selected. And of course, since the sibling boxes were skunks, that's probably why. Figured I would do the hunt for you, we'll open these boxes live and we'll get right into it. Let's see if for some reason, one of the unselected boxes had an ender or an ender, if I can open it. All right, here's the first box. And I don't see anything silvery on top, which is about par for the course. So let me go ahead and start cracking rolls. We'll be looking for varieties mostly since I don't think I'm going to find any silver. And if I do, it'll be a one or two if we're really lucky. But also for anything like a proof or a foreign or something cool. We'll bring you in on the first find of box one. We're on roll eight and it's been a few streams since I found one of these, but I have a 74D under the scope and you can clearly see by the double serif here, the doubling here, up here, there, and there, we've got a 74D DDO. I'll take it, it's not in the best shape, but it's another one for the collection. Roll number 12 and we're gonna find something we don't find very often. I saw the edge and you can just make out the proof strike we're gonna have a proof coin in the box. And it's got one of the R's on it, unbelievable. 1997 S proof clad with some Sharpie marks. Let me take some isopropyl alcohol to that and make that go away. All right, we used a little 91% isopropyl alcohol on there. It does a pretty good job of taking it away. Obviously I had to rub it to get it off and I can't get inside the crease of his eye with the Quick job, but either way, we've got a proof and a DDO. Couple of nice finds, no silver yet, of course. 12 rolls in. Roll 44 is finally gonna yield our first NIFC of the box, other than the proof, which is considered an NIFC as well. This is a 2005 Philadelphia. So a DDO, a proof, and an NIFC. If we can find some silver, we can fill the board. Well, that's all she wrote for box number one, and as expected, silver skunked, but we did have finds, and I'm not gonna cover them once again, you know what they are. Hopefully, we can get something good in box two, maybe another DDO, maybe another proof, maybe a foreign, maybe some silver. Let me move these out of the way, get the box set up, and we'll do a live opening next. All right, live opening, box number two of the hunt. See if we can score something else to add to the board on this one. Don't see any silver, but I do see a 2013 NIFC, so we know we're gonna have at least one NIFC in the box. But that looks like that's about it from the Enders on this side. You guys know the drill. We'll loop you in on our first find. We're on roll three of box two and a bad tear job. I can't quite tell if that's silver. Figured I'd record it just in case. And if it's not, maybe we'll delete the clip, but Let's see if this is a 40 percenter. It will be. It will be. 1969 Denver 40 percenter found in roll three of box two. Now we just need a 90 or I'll take more 40s. Well, this is unbelievable because I'm on roll seven of this LW1 box and I flipped over roll seven and there's a 64 ender. So we're gonna have a fill the board in 57 rolls. And more importantly, a 90 percenter and the second silver in seven rolls of this second box. Unbelievable. Let's see if there's any friends with it. No friends with it, just the silver ender, 1964. Let's take a little peek and see if there's any doubling on it. No doubling on trust, no doubling on in God, and it's a Philly. 
So we'll check it for the doubling on states. And no doubling on states. Still a 90%er in the box. Unbelievable. 90-40 NIFC proof miscellaneous or DDO. Let's go. Well, this LW1 box could be a good box because we're on roll number nine and I just pulled off the first five coins and we've got a 1987 Philadelphia. That is an NIFC, only 2.9 million of these minted and I will take it. It's also another miscellaneous, so unbelievable. Roll 29 of box two, another 74D under the scope, another 74D, DDO found. We'll take it. Can't get mad at finding a couple of those bad boys, especially after it had been a while since we had found some. Two DDOs in two boxes. Roll 30 had that NIFC ender, as I stated in the beginning. 2013 Denver, second NIFC of the hunt. Roll number 43, we've got another NIFC. This one, a 2017 Philadelphia. Well, we finished hunting the LW1 box, and uh, it was a great box in the first 10 rolls. After that, it was pretty quiet, so I'm thinking either we got the very beginning of a collection dump or a silver dump that might be in another box, or if it was ruled opposite, then we got the final silver rolls from another box. Either way, I'm not going to get mad at it. We got a 1964 90%er and a 40% silver silver in that box along with an 87 up here and a few NIFCs. At the end of the day, we got an 87, 274 DDDOs, a proof, three NIFCs, a 40%er and a 90%er and 100 rolls hunted. And that's about what you expect, maybe slightly better because we had a fill the board, if you will, for the hunt. I'm actually pretty excited that we hunted these boxes because A, we get rid of a couple of old boxes, B, they had some silver and some good finds, and I had some fun hunting it. Hopefully you guys had some fun watching it. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching. One of my favorite things to do is to take silver found and add it to the silver jar.